Greetings, fellas. Roger Bowman here on behalf of MasculineWellness.com. And the topic of this video here is going to revolve around and discuss the differences between Bang energy drinks and the new Rain energy drink. Um, as some of you, I'm sure many of you have at least seen Bang and some more of you uh, may have been seeing the rain kind of emerging in gas stations and other stores. So VPX is the manufacturer of Bang and Monster has kind of answered them with their rain energy drink. So over the last several months, um, there's been there's been some battles between the two companies and uh, some 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 legal actions being filed uh, against VPX and likewise VPX against Monster and there's like this little battle. Um, and some of the questions boil down to, you know, is there some fraudulent claims being made? Um, and, and is one company trying to rip off the other and so on and so forth. But uh, aside from that, I'm not gonna go into any great detail, but I simply want to give a review as to you know what might be better uh, and then as for the ingredients that are bragged about and listed on each of these cans and each of these products you know what what's what's worth anything it, are the ingredients are, are they worth anything do they really do much yes no maybe so um, so let's dive right into it um, some of the the, the the legalities and things revolving around VPX and the bang is associated with their super creatine that they literally are you know highlighting on the labels. Um, you know others are claiming that they're bogus claims. It really doesn't do much. And let's uh, I mean without going into detail and trying to explain the science and you know doing a, a 25 minute video here, if we just look at the creatine for what it is. Even if it was or is, yeah, it will, we shall see. Uh, even if it is um, a legit good form of creatine that actually could be utilized by the body, we're talking about 40 milligrams of creatine. That's the total amount that's in this this can. Which, if we just look at that, it's it's hardly anything. So. If we look at the numbers in a math on it, we have to have a thousand milligrams to even equal one gram. So most athletes that are taking creatine for any significant noticeable benefit are going to be taking anywhere in the ballpark of five to ten grams based upon you know different factors such as their weight and size, and whatnot. So we are literally talking about 40 milligrams, which is a sliver of five to ten thousand milligrams, right? So it's kind of like you need a full tank of gas in your car but you put like a little measuring cup, like literally a cup in the gas tank, is it really gonna get you, get you far? No, it's, it's really not gonna do anything. That's, that's the short of it. And the same also goes true with the CoQ10 that's being um, kind of plastered on the label. The, the amount is so negligent, it's really not gonna do much. And then we can flip gears and we can look at rain and the BCAs, and we get asked the same question, BCAs and CoQ10. How much? Kind of the same story in short. Again, without going into any great detail, the amount is so negligent and so small that it's really not going to provide any any significant benefit to the athlete. You know, from a you know from a muscle recovery standpoint or a muscle energy standpoint. However, I will say, and this is my personal opinion, I I well for one, I love the flavors on the pain drinks. I, I have honestly, I will admit, I have been a a fan of the Bang Energy drinks, and at 300 milligrams of caffeine per can, that, that's that's a hefty dose. It's it's a nice little punch. So to sip on that over a couple of hours, I, I like the little spark that it gives me. It's something. It's a nice alternative for me aside from coffee. I'm not the biggest fan of coffee all the time, although I do like a cup here and there. Um, and then as for the rain, I. Will admit I have not tried every flavor. However, I have tried most of their flavors, and and I do I like about half of them. I say overall I tend to lean more towards the the bang flavors. 
Um, so looking at the, the bang, same, same content. They just mark it a little bit different because they put two servings per can versus one. So you got to kind of look at those fine details. Essentially, it's the same caffeine content. And really, if we boil it down and keep it real simple, it's essentially like comparing apples to apples. There's, there's not a significant difference between the two. And as for the little bragging points with these extra ingredients, which if they had a medicinal uh, dose of something that's, that's real, real good, very useful, that, that would be another, that'd be another story. But the bottom line is, is they're not. So if we broke down, you know, some of the vitamins, I mean, the vitamin content is roughly double in Monster's Rain in comparison to, you know, VPX's, um, you know, you know, bang drink here. But, uh, I will say if we really break things down just a little bit deeper as it pertains to the nutrients, VPX's bang drink, the form of B12. I mean, most, most of us kind of are familiar with B12. The form of B12 in here is, uh, what's called methylcobalamin, which is a, a much more absorbable form of vitamin b12 it's it's really like the it's it's the best form that i'll keep that short so whereas we look at rain their form of b12 is cyanocobalamin which the vast majority of b12 supplements on the market is cyanocobalamin i don't remember the exact science behind it but it's somewhere in the ballpark of 10 to 20 percent that your body actually absorbs with the cyanocobalamin form of b12 so it's it's a portion and that's often why you will see a lot of supplements that have an insane amount of B12 in the form of cyanocobalamin because so little of it is absorbed. In my personal opinion and you know, due to research and knowing what I know, a methylcobalamin form of B12 is again superior, better to spend a couple extra dollars for that. But um, again, those, those are very minor, those are very, very minor details. Again, really looking at the big picture, not a big difference. But um, that's that. Now, another, if we're going to look at alternatives to either one of these, of course, there's a plethora of all kinds of different competitors within the energy drink uh, sector and category. Personally, I love to make my own little energy drink or nootropic concoctions uh, at home in my kitchen. And that I will cover on another video that I will try to kind of put alongside this so it'll make it easy for you guys to see that and I got some I feel some really good ideas that are a sliver of the cost the quality is multiple times better and a little just a little bit cleaner and a little bit more beneficial so hopefully I will see you guys uh, on that video next but as always thank you for checking in and of course you could always click the follow button you could you know, provide your email. I'll be more than happy to keep you engaged and updated with any other insights that I have under the whole masculine wellness umbrella of health, fitness, wellness, and much, much more. So thank you once again, guys, and we'll see you next time.